Good morning! I'm Polarized Moon, and welcome back to RuneScape. So we're in the middle of a clockwork syringe, and we're about to set, set sail to... somewhere. Let's get underway! All right, ye are, Polarized Moon. I always get my pirate voices mixed up because I really only have one pirate voice. <laughs> Maybe two at most. Aha! There ye are, Polarized Moon. We'll be approaching Blood Splatter Island soon. I have to tell ye, lad, I'm still hoping you're wrong about you know who being involved in this. What? But the zombie head. He told me himself that he's involved. Aye, so ye say. But he never mentioned that name to me. Don't fret, though, Polarized Moon. We're on our way to investigate and shut down the facility now. If you know who really is involved, you'd find the evidence needed to prove it while well, you're here, no doubt. So if I get conclusive evidence and involvement is on this, you finally actually do something about it? Aye, lad. If you get me something that backs up your, your makeover mannequin has said about this being a planned attack on Mostly Harmless, action will be taken. You can be rest assured of that. We be approaching visual distance of the island, Polarized Moon. You'll have your answers so incoming! What's happening? We be under fire, lad. Hang on to something. Hang on to something. Uh-oh. Whew. That were a close call, Polarized Moon. We're lucky not to be sitting pretty at the bottom of the sea right now. Where'd the attack come from, Bill? It seems our guide forgot to mention the welcoming party that we fired from the island itself. You didn't expect them to roll out the red carpet and just let you sail in, surely. I should be doing a more zombie-style voice. I think I used, a, like, a voice for the zombie pirates before. I don't remember. You, <laughs> you really are trying me patience, devil. I suggest you realize the gravity of your predicament. I hate to have to pierce the ears. Ah! Nice big old hoops. They just look darling on a gal like ye. Arr, I get the picture. Arr, yarr. How are we ever going to get to the island now? We'll be sunk for sure if we try sailing in. Aye, that we will. I have a plan, though, Polarized Moon. I knew you'd think of something, Captain. What is it? Oh, I can't wait to hear this. Now, afore I go about telling ye, ye has to promise to hear it out all the way until the end, before ye start objecting and complaining. <sighs> I'm not going to like this, am I? Depends on how healthy your sense of adventure is, lad. Now, here's the plan. We can't very well sail on the dock, as you've brightly pointed out, because we'd be riddled with holes and sunk before we made it halfway there. Yeah, that's true enough. We also have limited resources on this ship. All we have to hand is cannons and cannonballs, gunpowder, some crates and barrels, and some chains. Now, I have a, pl I have a plan involving these objects that ends up with you on the island. Go on. What you'll need to do is some of the, use some of the gunpowder to flash heat a chain and smith to a cannonball. There'll be a hammer and anvil in the hold along with plenty of plowder. Plow- plowder. <laughs> cannonballs and chains. You need to detach one to the other. The end of the chains are one of the empty barrels. And then... And then you sit in the barrel and we put the cannonball in the cannon with the double dose of powder. Then fire yourself on the island with it. Well, lad... Do you want me to make a cannonball barrel boat, sit on the barrel, and then fire it across the sea to the island using a cannon? Aye, that's about the size of it, lad. Uh, <laughs> uh, awesome. I'll get right on it. That's what I like about ye, lad. You're always enthusiastic. And you're as daft as a box of frogs. Thanks. Wait. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> Alright, so I have to go collect all the items that I need to build... Can we see the island from here? We absolutely cannot. Um, let's head down here. So we need to grab all the stuff. Search this. There's the cannonball. Search this. There's our chain. Take a barrel. Uh, take some gunpowder. Oh, he said double dose. And then I'm assuming I'm gonna need the tinderbox. I mean, I have all this stuff already on my tool belt. Uh, use a chain. 
Um, use a cannonball on the anvil. A heated chain. How do I heat the chain? Um, I'm not entirely sure how to use the chain on. Oh, oh, do I just use it on the tinderbox? Use the chain on the tinderbox? Yeah, okay. Use the gunpowder to heat, flash heat the chain. Ah, and then I need another powder barrel, a double dose for the thing. There we go. And now I can smith on the anvil. Use the cannonball and chain on the barrel. Cannonball barrel boat. Sweet. <laughs> All right, and now I can use the gunpowder on the cannon. I guess it's this cannon. Nothing interesting happens. Use the barrel. Use the gunpowder on the barrel. Take the right. Oh, I just, okay. Well, here goes. Cool. <laughs> oh my god. Oof. Alright, I am here. I am on Brain Death Isle. Or Blood Splatter Isle. So... Oh, Investigate Perch Rock. I might as well do that before I move forward. What's this? What indeed, Polarized Moon? Don't tell me you've forgotten. I certainly haven't. Uh, do I know you? You wound me. How could you forget the devastation you inflicted? It's still escaping me, I'm afraid. I kept your shirt, you know. What? And the accordion, too. No, it can't be. This seagull from the rock that I fired at young Ralph's head. Very good, Polarized Moon. Tremble before me, for I am Baron Von Hattencrapper. So, what are you doing here? I had come here hearing you were on your way to wreak my revenge on you for firing me out of that makeshift vacuum pump. But then, shock! I watched with my own beady eyes as you strapped yourself to the cannonball and fired yourself across the ocean! It's the only reason I haven't already unleashed havoc and devastation upon you, Polarized Moon. But to know why you inflict such a thing yourself, it is your way to atone? Uh, yes, I'm so deeply sorry. How unexpected. Well, Polarized Moon, I accept your gesture. Consider us even from now on. We have more pressing matters than an old grudge to contend with now. I have a proposal for you. So, what's the na nature of this proposal you mentioned? Ah, yes, to business. Well, Polarized Moon, you and I have a common enemy. And I propose we work together to defeat it. What do you mean? I refer to the lumbering monstrosities that opened fire on your ship as it tried to approach the island, of course. They've also been firing upon me each time I attempt to leave the island. I am restricted to flying within the watery confines of this island prison. We both have something to gain here, Polarized Moon. I propose we collaborate and conquer. But how can we beat them? I am a very strong flyer, Polarized Moon. I can lift heavy objects, say cannonballs from that pile over there. However, Takes all of my concentration to do so. You are a summoner of considerable skill. I propose you commune with me and control my actions and allow me to re re rain devastation from the sky and obliterate our enemies. So, Polarized Moon, are you ready to rain destruction on our foes? I'm ready to begin. Then begin it we shall. Let my enemies duck in cover, for I am Baron Von Haddenkrapper. Oh my god, okay. Ah, do I, do I have to just keep attacking each of these? Oh, no. Oh, am I, like, trying to go somewhere? I don't, I don't understand exactly what I'm trying to do here. <clears throat> Baron Von Gattencrapper never flies from battle.
Oh, okay. So am I attempting to take these guys out here? Oh, I got one. Cool. All right, so am I just trying to take out all these dudes? I'm, that must be what's going on here. Come on. There we go. Fantastic. So do I have to do this in four minutes just in general? Or what exactly is what exactly is our plan here? Will these guys respawn if I don't kill them all? Oh, I see two more. I can get this guy. Maybe. <laughs> okay, there we go. Got another one. Oh, cool. Alright. Potentially one more? It shows only one more on the map, but that doesn't mean that there's only one more left. I may just be slightly out of range. All right, let's see if I can take this guy out. There we go. Dad, yeah. All enemies defeated. Fantastic. I must admit, Polarized Mode would make a good team. Perhaps it is wiser to have you as an ally than an enemy. I've been thinking the same. I'd be flinching and avoiding imaginary cannonballs every time I heard a squawk otherwise. Should you return to your ship, your companion will be able to dock now that the port is undefended. I was just about to. Actually, before you suggested it. Of course, Polar Ice Mode, of course. So now do I go back? Swim. So now I go tell Bill that we finished the thing. And now we can... You're back, lad. How are ye going along disabling those guns? Guns are disabled, Captain. It is safe to approach the island. That's good to hear, Polar Ice Moon. How did you go about it in the end? Well, guns turned out to be the barrel chests patrolling the beach with their cannon arms. Couldn't get close to them or I've been splattered by their anchors, so I telepathically communicated with the Seagull, the nefarious Cap Baron Von Hattencrapper, and controlled him to drop the cannonballs on them. Just for once, couldn't have been something normal like smashing him with a big hammer. <laughs> Ah, well, good news nonetheless. Want me to drop you off, lad, and you can start your investigation now. Can you take me there? Aye, polarized moon, and I'll drop you off. Signal from the dock if you want to pick it up. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Baron Von Hattencrapper. All right. So now I'm assuming I can dismantle these because I don't need them. A cannonball boat. Not a vastly... Not a conveniently conventional vessel. Uh, okay. Um, uh, disorderly. Attended. Loosen straps massive arm. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh, well, that's not great. Oh, what hit me? Need to get out of here. Back to Bill. Uh, okay, great. Lock pick. Ab abscond with shelf. You swipe a bundle of parts from the shelf. Um. Plunder a crate of medical. Oh, am I gonna fake my. Okay. Take a barrel, barrel stack. I can't reach those crates. Crate of bandages. What's in this crate? Nothing. Okay, so... Use the surgical mask on the parts. Uh, what am I doing here? 
Um, abscond with. Abscond with is one of the funniest things. Pillage. Um, use barrel with barrel chest parts. Hmm. I, I'm assuming that if I go past here, they'll just do that again. Yeah, okay. So, I've got this stuff. What does that do for me? Is there anything else out and around that I can do here? I can go down. Maybe that's what I have to do. I've got a bunch of stuff, but I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it. Is there another side to this that I can get around to? It doesn't look like I'm going to be able to get over there. Huh, okay. How is this gonna become part of the barrel chest disguise? Ah! I, I knew I knew there was disguise going on here, but I still don't quite know how. Do I need multiple parts? It must be more than more than that. Use barrel chest so can I steal more parts? I swear I have one of those in my backpack. Okay, gunpowder is stackable. Okay. Use the barrel with the gunpowder? There's no reason to do that now. Use with the surgical mask. Use with the... Use the roll of... With the... Hmm... Can I telepathically talk to the bird here? Does the bird tell me how I'm supposed to do this? Huh. Okay. I need to get back. Oh, I need to go talk to Bill. Okay. Never mind. Let's go talk to Bill. I thought that I thought I could figure this out on my own, but apparently I have to. I have to go back and talk to him again. Uh, I kept my have a problem. Well done for your fighting illumina, lad. That's half the battle. No, what? No, no. I, I mean, there's a problem with the investigation. The complex is heavily guarded by zombie surgeons using precision-thrown sedatives. I can't get inside. That certainly is a problem, lad. Couldn't you get in at all? The storage area just inside the complex I can access had a bunch of medical supplies and what looked like a dismantled barrel chest on the shelf. Gives me an idea. You could walk in freely around the complex if you looked like one of them, I'd wager. You're going for the parts you need for a disguise. Go and grab a roll of bandage, surgical mask, a bundle of parts from the storeroom, and then grab a barrel from me hold once you've got all that. Come see me and you'll build a disguise. Hi, Captain. I've gathered all the things you've asked for. Good work, lad. Let's knuckle down and build you a disguise then, shall we? Aye, Captain. Right. Take that there thing of a jemmy and jam it in the who's it. <laughs> and now for the finishing touch. There, we're done, Polarized Moon. Bill hands you the completely barreled complete barrel chest disguise. Wait, what's that on top? Oh, that'd be our pretty nice friend, lad. Finishes the disguise nicely, don't you agree? And she'll keep her mouth shut, too. I stuffed it with the bandage and stuck that mask on to make sure of that. Well, I guess take time to take her out for a spin. I should be able to wander about the facility freely now. So get back in there and get investigating. All right. If you want to sail me back to... Oh, no, I have to talk to you. Take me to Blood's Banner. I polarized moon. I'll drop you off. Signal out from the dock if you want to pick it up. Fantastic. We are making good progress. Potentially. I don't know where this in the facility. Okay. 
I can do that. And there we go. <laughs> oh, nice. Now that I'm disguised, I should hunt for incriminating evidence. <laughs> that is hilarious. <laughs> oh, I love the walking. That is fantastic. Alright, also, I think I can dismantle this barrel. Oh, well, I, I can later. Alright, let's go check each of these rooms here. Finish building incomplete barrel chest. I'll need something barrel-like to finish with the bang it deserves. Use the barrel on the gunpowder. Ah, there we go. Mmm, I see. Okay, now I know what I'm doing with the barrel and the gunpowder. Alright, I'm gonna keep these over here just so I've got them kind of separated out. Distract disorderly. Distract, okay. Disorderlies, and let me grab another barrel. Oh, I can't, I can't reach that. Okay. So let's grab another, grab another barrel. And then use barrel with gunpowder and change back into this. Oh, I guess I just have to be in a spot. There we go. Fantastic. That is still the goofiest ass thing. Oh, I need one more. Okay, hold on. Let me undo. Wait, how many do I need? Massive arms. Occupied surgery bed. Grim turn. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Okay, let's get out of this. I'll grab one more before we continue on here. Is it looks like there's three of them that I need to do. There we go. Fantastic. So now we get in this. And now we can go finish up those there. Finish building incomplete barrel chest. So I'm assuming I have to just sabotage each of the rooms in general. Large machine. Huh, I wonder what those do. That's the room rigged. Just need to set them off now. My disguise should shield me for most of it. Detonate. Nice. Oh, that did all three of them. Oh, and that killed the, uh, attended. <laughs> Resi dead. Oh, it's like resident. All right, let's loosen the straps. <laughs> Available stealth and cunning. Covertly sabotage the harness. <laughs> it's all of them. I should stand back. This could get messy. So this is going to kill each one of them, I guess. Har, it be time, lads. Let's get started on this latest batch. Hi, boss. Hi. Make the first incision, lads. <laughs> oh, that's funny. How is that even possible? It's not meant to bend like that. My eyes! Please make it stop. Is it over? I think it's safe to investigate and it's safe. Um. Alright. You have sabotaged that harness. Be careful, the armor's loose. Alright, I think. Oh, invest. Ah! Let's see now. What's this? Sign a suspicious letter. Take a file from it. Notice board and put the letter in it. 
Ah, okay. That I'm checking these notice boards in each room. What's this? Okay, cool. Now I get what I'm doing. Already gotten what I need from this. Uh, which entry? Currently blank. All right, so I have to. So I'm assuming this was like four and five, maybe. Sabotage the gas canister. Room is full of laughing gas. Your enclosed barrel chest costume protects you. So three pirates walk into a bar. <laughs> hey, I cleaned the hull of the boat with this morning. They're covered in barnacles. <laughs> Your mom's fat. I know she is. She'd be like an ended house. Har har. Brutalized disorderly. Ah, and now I just killed him. <laughs> All those guards in this room. I should be free to investigate now. Fantastic. Aha, uh -huh, what's this? Alright, so I'm assuming I just killed these guys? Well, that's pretty easy. All things considered. Pretty default of a... Uh, the Grim Turn. <laughs> All right. And I just have to kill these three. I, I think it's actually cool that each room has a different little puzzle to do in it. And last one. Uh, you want to come out here? Uh-oh. There we go. Let's get him out in the open here. Perfect. And then after this, I've only got this one here left. Right there. Is there even any guards in there? I can read that notice board. Okay. Grab that. So what's the deal in here? Check the guards aren't going to ambush me before I start zooming around. R, ye be needed. Uh, excuse me. Rum and me tum. Uh, won't be any trouble. Oh, I have to check each one. R, ye be needed. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> Thar be rum and me tum. Won't be any trouble. Um... Is... Is that it? Is that just a box of creative legs? To put, <laughs> you put your left leg in. Oh my god. Cunning guards in this room. I can investigate. Alright. I think this is enough evidence. I should go back to build teach. Uh, let's read this and see what we've got. The job of the disorder leads is to prepare the patients for surgery. Fortunately, with our doctors already being walking corpses, it doesn't matter too much... Either way, where you get it right or not, their undead bodies are extremely resilient and can survive all but the most thorough attempt to destroy them. That said, if you don't do it right, they'll go through inhuman, inhuman levels of agony, and their transformation into barrel chests is complete. I will give them the name of the disorderly that fluffed up their surgery prep so they can thank you personally. To prepare a doctor for surgery, you need to pump them as full of laughing gas as you can to numb their sensation of pain, then use one of the supplied mallets to smash them over the head and induce a nice deep state of unawareness. Once the steps have been carried out, your impatience need to go through the processing for our grim turns to perform the next step. Migor. Fantastic. Alright. And two. Your task is to remove the parts of our donors we're interested in. Poorly dispose of the rest. Properly dispose of the rest. When I say properly dispose of, I mean properly incinerate them. Don't just throw them out to sea. We don't want another incident like the one that happened last week with the fishermen. The torso and the subsequently unnecessary murder. Parts of the donors we're interested in and that must remain intact are the arms, legs, and head. Hack them off as close to the joint as you can. Don't worry. If you're rough, the edges that'll be dealt with at a later stage. Once you've removed the parts from we're interested in, crate them up and transfer them over to the drunks in the tainted rum pump room for the next step. Okay. And step three. 
First and foremost, stop drinking the tainted rum. It makes a lot of effort and secure the supply of rum, and even more to get the powdered black stone we're putting in it to have the effects of the undead tissue we need to create the barrel chest. Besides, it needs to be injected directly into the body parts to have that effect. All it does to you is make you more useless than you already are. Your job is the easiest we there is. I don't know why we keep having so many problems with it. Just put the body parts on the tables, strap them securely, and hook them up to the rum. The rum pumping stations. Once they've reached the optimal size, turf them onto the next area to make the final preparations. Uh, four? Yours is the final preparation task in the procedure. You've been trained by myself in surgery and mechanical Murphy in mechanics and chosen for this job because your maggot-ridden brains are the least stupid we have, so try not to mess it up. You need to graft the mechanical joints and use the chastening limbs for the mechanical bodies for the barrel chests where the bone sticks out. You need to be careful doing this procedure on the still unliving arms causes them pain. While they're dismembered with no brain con to control them, instinct will kick in. If one should get loose, well, I don't need to remind you that what happened to not no torso Jimmy, previously just known as Jimmy. <laughs> Once you've attached the mechanical parts and send the limbs in the construction for the final stage of the procedure. Fantastic. Five? What are you doing out there? Hurry on up to the construction of the barrel chest army and finish your prototypes for the new secret weapon within the week, or they'll be held to pay. Spent many a year planning this attack. Most of the harmless will fail. You need to hurry up and finish preparations. You'll be answering the master, Rabid Jack. There we go. We got our answer. What is that sound? Oh, is that hissing from the... the ga Oh, that was hissing from the gas canister. That's hilarious. Alright. Signal the adventurous. Fantastic. I've performed heavy sabotage in the facility and occurred a lot of evidence pointing to the involvement of Rabid Jack and backing up the story about the attack on Mosul Harmless. Let's see it then, lad. He reaches finish he finished reading and hands it back. This is grave news indeed, yet lad. We need to go ahead and finish the job before it's too late. He shouldn't need to wear the barrel chest disguise inside anymore, polarized when you've wiped out all the guards. Now, keep it with me in just in case we need it in the future. Alright, Captain, finish Time to finish in their house what they started in mine. Here, polarized when take these and let that production line. Stash of powder kegs. Aye, Captain! Anything else, lad? Nope. Just take me there. I'm assuming that's what the, uh, the machine is. I polarized, uh, yeah. We've already read that. Fantastic. So now I don't need that other thing anymore. Do I need this cannonball boat? <laughs> oh, that's, the gas canister is still going. So now I use the bundle of kegs on the conveyor belts? The belt is inactive. Ah, here we go. I turn this machine on, the conveyor belts will start, and I should be able to send explosive kegs along them to the machinery. Any nearby guards will hear me. Yes. Time to go, Murphy. Oh, you're in for it, Polarized Moon. Or who turned this machine on? Let's kill all you. Oh, we're playing like... Oh, I see. So if I load a conveyor here, I can kill the guys before... Yeah, there we go. Okay, I see. So I just want to... Perfect. Heavily damaged by the blast. So I just want to... Do I want to keep doing one until... Maybe that's what I want to do here. Grinds to a halt. Oh, did I not... <laughs> okay, perfect. Oh, that one's inactive. Oh, I already blew that one up. Okay, so now I just have to keep doing it on this one. 
There we go. Take out the dude. Sato machinist. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Perfect. I did it. Sato machinist. <laughs> oh my god. So can I... Yeah, okay. Jump the wall. What? As you leave the area, the reigning zombies repair and reset the machinery. What? Why? They didn't... They didn't, though. Okay, what's over here? I see nothing. Oh! Hold it there, evildoers. Mechanical Murphy and Migor. Migor? Say hello to our secret weapons. Our zomboat armada will lay waste to mostly harmless. Come back here. Pun voyage. Hmm. Zomboat. <laughs> We're tracking them down. Zomboat. Oh, this is hilarious. Oh, this is great. So do I need to take them all out, I would assume? Okay, let's repair. <laughs> oh, the huge manatee. <laughs> Remaining damage is beyond your skill to repair. Uh-oh. Do I have, like, limited... Seems like I've got limited, uh, potential here. Oh, they missed. Got that sinking feeling. Perf. Oh. Nope. Come on. I'm reloading the cannon. Oh, his is more, more powerful than mine. How do I know how much health my boat has left? Uh, let's do some repairs. Oh no! Well, I lost that one. Uh, okay. I'm assuming I have to redo all of that. Yeah, okay. So, it looks like I don't want to... Oh, now I can see my repair. I wonder if that was all bugged before. Alright, so maybe I want to... Let's take out the single Zomboats first. Oh, the huge manatee. Can I repair? The remaining damage is beyond your skill to repair. Okay, so I only got hit once there. Um, I don't want them to be together like that. I want them to be all on their own. So I can run way past them and then fire at them like that. Okay, I think I've got a better understanding of how to do this now. Oh, there's one way out over here. Murphy. I'll take you out. I have... I think I understand the best way to do this. They kind of look like little tea kettles. Can't sail that far out. You have to stop the zomboats. So, I just keep moving until after they've fired. Not seen the last of me, polarized moon. Can I repair now? Uh, 
Okay, good. All right, we are... The remaining damage is beyond my skill. Okay, cool. So we've still got three left. But the two of them are like the super simple two-shot ones. So I think I want to go out and around this way. Got the sinking feeling. Okay, we got... Perfect. Off to the locker I go. Alright, let's repair the ship a little bit, and then we're gonna go after the last dude. I know this episode, it would be normally stopped by now, but this is what we got left. Alright, come on. It's running away. Yes. Absolutely, if I just sit here and fire on him, we're gonna win now. I just have to chase him down. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Oh, I missed. Damn it. I think he's got one or two hits left. If I repair here... Oh, I can repair on the move. Oh, nice. Target's out of range. I'll be back. Count on it. <laughs> hey, I did it. I think I stopped them all. Time I sailed back to the adventurous to talk to Bill. Way anchor. Toot toot. <laughs> oh my god. That's hilarious. Uh, it sinks as you arrive. I think this might be the end of this quest, so I'm going to finish this up real quick before we continue. Saw the battle from here, Polarized Moon. Good sailing. Thanks, Captain. Come on, lad. We can I do more damage around here. Let's sail back to Mostly Harmless and meet Joe's basement. Joe is in the northern most... Yeah, I know. So, uh, let's finish that up. And yeah, we're gonna go a couple of minutes extra here just to finish this quest. I'm assuming this is the end. If there's a whole nother section of this, I'll probably just cut this into the beginning of the next episode. We'll see. Long drop. Yep, drop me. Fantastic. Ah! <laughs> Well, lad, you did it. You stopped the attack on Mosley Harmless, and you proved to me that you know who is back. I had hoped this day would never come. Well, it has, Captain, and we need to do something about it. What should we do next? It'd be time to repair now, Polarized Moon. To prepare for war. I need time to make the necessary arrangements and gather the captains together. Without Gentleman Mallard, the Council will be needing a new head. Guess it's up to me, since it's only me you've shown that you know who is re returned. Thanks to that, I guess I should get started. What became of our pretty little friend? He kept her in custody, Polarized Moon, along with your disguise. We may need it again one day. What do you need me to do with two? You've done more than enough for now, Polarized Moon. You train yourself up and prepare. When the time comes, I'll contact ye. For now, enjoy your victory. Yay! Um, Access to new combat, Rumjin. Pirate spell sheet allowing for quick transport between Muscle Harmless and Brain Death. Two treasure hunter keys. All right. And I got a Slayer level up, which is exactly what I need. We're getting pretty close. But either way, that's all the time I've got for this episode. Like and subscribe if you liked the episode. Ring that bell if you'd like to see more. Good night, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye!